Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this section, we're going to be talking about social engineering. This is probably one of my favorite topics. I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy showing how to do it in different techniques. So we're going to learn about what is social engineering. There's a massive amount about this topic, but we're going to keep it very high level and pretty basic. We're not going to get into too much fanciness and too deep into it, but I want to give you the breakdown of what it is and how to perform social engineering uh, techniques and all that good stuff. All right. So if we come onto this the slide here and we talk about what I talk about what is social engineering attacks, okay? So what we're going to learn in this section is different kinds of techniques, diff different kind of ways to gather information, and pretty much social engineering is very, very easy to pull off. It's pretty much manipulating the human into maybe clicking a link, sending them an email, and you know the best way to prevent this is social. Excuse me, is a uh, security awareness training or end user training, you need this in order to prevent these kinds of techniques that you know pen testers or the bad guys send out, okay? This is pretty much like the Nigerian prince, please send me some money, I need help. And you know, people in a panic, they send money, or when you know people taking advantage of others, say for example, someone calls you and you're not aware, usually like the elderly, if they say, you know, this is Microsoft, I heard your machine has a virus, please give me a credit card and I can help you install an antivirus to clean that machine up. And the person, you know, gives the information about their credit card and all that stuff and then they're compromised, okay? Obviously that's a bummer and we want to prevent that, right? So what is social engineering attacks, right? So this is pretty much manipulate to trick users, just like I was saying. You know, click on a link, go to this web page. Maybe you have a phishing uh, link. You have a vishing, which is when you call people. You can have SMS tricking. You know, sending SMSs, which text messages. And you know, we gather sensitive information from users, credit card information, social security numbers, bank information, financial statements whatever the attacker or the bad guy is after, that's what they're gonna look for, right? Financial gain and all that good stuff, okay? For an example, you have phishing, vishing, which is voice, and imper impersonation, right? Impersonating someone else, pretending you're someone else, like, hey, this is Bill Gates, I'm calling because, you know, this is a new update from Microsoft, you know, for an example, right? So these are very, very easy to pull off and you'll be surprised of how many successes. For example, where I was working a couple of years ago, there was an attack or there was, there was an incident that the, uh, I think it was one of the salespeople that worked there, this it quote unquote came from the CEO, Amazon gift cards. You know, oh, this is the CEO, please buy $10,000 worth of gift cards for the company and send me back the uh, the redeem code, right? And then the salesperson's like, okay, because maybe they do that on a yearly basis around the Christmas time or the holidays. So this person bought this, they send the redeem code or send the gift cards to the attacker and come to find out the CEO never sent that email. So you just have to be super, super careful. And this is real world, right? It happens probably every day. Okay, that's what same thing with the ransomware. People trying to send out links, click on a link, and encrypt your data, and so on and forth, so on and so forth. And this is a kind of attack that you know tricks the user to clicking on a link. Okay, so different kinds of tools. Okay, social engineering tools. So Multigo is a you know an awesome tool to gather information. Right? This is to say, okay, I want to gather this information to get all the info for a specific target, specific user, so on and so forth. And it's a, you know, it's a graphical user interface that you can use that. And we're going to see that in the upcoming videos. Okay? 
So also you can do phishing attacks with the set, which is social engineering toolkit. You can use it to you know, try to retrieve user data and login information, you know? And you know, we won't get too much into that because obviously I wanna keep it very basic and I don't wanna, you know, this is all for educational purposes. I don't want to be doing things to get people in trouble. You know, this is all ethical. We want to make sure we're just learning these techniques and this is for educational purposes. I want to convey that. I don't want YouTube to think I'm, you know, this is all for education. You have to use these processes with people you get permission from, you know, and when we do Multigo and we use these techniques, we're going to use dummy accounts like John Doe, you know, and because sometimes retrieving information without someone's permission can be a you know, big, big deal. So, and then you can have a Trojan attack, a Trojan attack, you know, the set performs exploitation using the Trojan. You know, you can create a, a reverse shell. You can create a Trojan to send this off to a victim. And once they click on an executable, it can give access to that machine and you can compromise that machine. So people do that you know, if you're doing an internal pen test, see if there's people that can you know, show up their antivirus or, you know, just test the systems, make sure these, these machines aren't vulnerable to these exploits, okay? And Beef Tool, this performs browser attacks using the Beef. So this is another way to use social engineering, okay? So in the next video, we're not going to get into it uh, in this video, but next video we're going to get into using Maltigo and we'll be using this to do some fun stuff, to get some information. Remember, this is all for educational purposes in this video and so on and so forth. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So the scanning and spoofing and sniffing is done. Those were a couple videos and now we're gonna move on to social engineering, all right? So hope this has been informative for you guys. Thank you for checking me out. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And until next time, Thank you.